another eyewitness for you. Joining me is Terry Cohen. You were actually working uh, right near the Pentagon. Tell me what you saw. Well, we were outside. We were in a little construction trailer, and um, we were sitting having a meeting, and we heard this boom. The building shook. The ceiling tiles fell out of the ceiling, and we ran out. We kind of dazed, grabbed our hard hats, ran out, and there was just smoke. You couldn't get to. We tried to get to where it was to see what it was. You couldn't get there because it was just thick. You couldn't see anything but just smoke. And we were just, it was two seconds after it happened, and we just sort of People were screaming, run, what is it, what is it? So we headed away from the building, not knowing where to go, and there was just confusion everywhere. Then, 10 seconds later, people came up and were saying, in security, saying, just get away from the building, we don't know what it is, just get away from it. But as we walked away, as we started getting away, there were people on the road, we were very close to the exit, and they were saying, oh my God, did you see that? It was an airplane, it was an airplane. Just came, they kept saying it was a big airplane. I kept thinking, I couldn't, I thought maybe it was just from, National Airport, an airplane had hit us. 15 minutes later, there was a terrible explosion again, and we just went through the tunnel and away. What were you being told by security personnel, or were you being told anything? We weren't being told anything. It was chaotic. People were just running. Um, there was a security guy just saying, screaming to me, run. I said, but where do you want me to go? He said, just get away from the building, because you didn't know where to go. So we were fenced in. We were only about 100 feet away from it. We were fenced in, ran out the only gate that was, and just walked away from it. Well, actually ran away. It was very loud, very spray, crazy, and very smoky. And I would assume, like a lot of people in this area, you're basically stuck here at this point. All the roads are shut down. It doesn't look like anybody's being allowed to, to leave the area. The cell phones are down. You can't get away. You can't get to your cars. We're, we've been walking ever since the beginning, and we've just walked in circles. I bet we've walked two miles. You can't get use your cell phone, and you really can't go anywhere. So we're stuck here. We don't have any information. Did you ever think that you would be in a situation like this? I mean, this is the Pentagon. This is a very secure building. It's it's a it's a building, a symbol uh, for this country. Did you did you ever imagine in, in a million years that something like this would happen? You know, the funny thing when I came here, I work in a lot of secured buildings, and that was the first question I asked: Where is the alert sign? There's always alert sign. And I walked this building all the time. I kept thinking, Where's the alert sign? It went in the new wedge, the old wedge. I couldn't find it. So I asked a judge. I asked uh, somebody a. Uh, with a military uniform, and he said, "Oh, this building's so safe. We don't have, we don't, we don't post that." So I felt very comfortable here. Where in other buildings I do work, I do keep up with what's going on in the building. So I never, in a million years, expect this to happen here at the Pentagon. What were the people around you doing and saying? Was it pretty calm, or were people really um, getting rather emotional? We saw a few people running, but from our vantage point, we didn't get a really good look. What were what were people doing? I hate to say it, but I did fall apart when it first happened. I was very frightened. Um, this doesn't happen in America. I guess it does. Um, I, I was concerned that I was going to die, and I didn't know what to do. People were hurt around me. I didn't know what I was going to do. I felt guilty being here, and I know people that are probably still in there. My workers were there. Um, I don't like walking away from it, but I can't get there. I can't help them. It's very chaotic. You don't. I'm going to have to take some emergency training. I don't know what to do in this situation. I feel very guilty that I'm not back there helping. You said you saw people hurt. Tell me what kinds of injuries you were seeing, and, and do you have any idea about the numbers of people? No. That no, no idea, nothing at all. And the only thing hurt we've seen is people coming out of the building. I mean, people in ambulances. All from that general section of the building. How are they getting them out? Did you get to see how, I mean, are they? We were far gone by the time they did that. There was so, we were the first people on site because we were only 100 feet from it. It was total smoke. You could not get 15 feet near the, the airplane because you couldn't see. So how are they getting those people out from that airplane? I have no clue because you could not see. Could you see the actual airplane as you were retreating and getting out of the area? Did you see the wreckage of the airplane? You could not see. It was too thick of smoke, and I should have been able to see on a regular day. I would have just seen it right there. I could not see the, the trailers and the construction equipment that was sitting there and the construction material. I could not see that. Hey, Terry Cohen, thank you so much for joining us. And so 